So I've been playing Killing Floor Calamity on Ouya, and it is definitely one of the more challenging games I've played in a while. That may be why this is on the shorter side, but please don't take that as a sign of dissatisfaction, because I assure you it is not. I was a pretty big fan of Killing Floor on PC, so I was delighted to hear that developers Tripwire Interactive were making a top-down arcade shooter version designed specifically for Ouya. The only part that worried me was the top-down part. Would they be able to capture all that made the PC version so enjoyable, even with that much change? Yes. Yes, they could, and they did. Now, what needs to be made clear is that Killing Floor Calamity was designed with couch gaming in mind. That's why it was perfect for Ouya. Anyone that grew up with an NES and a sibling can tell you that the best part about couch gaming is when there's someone next to you on said couch. So Killing Floor Calamity excels in providing an ideal couch co-op experience. And sadly, I didn't have the opportunity to enjoy that aspect. Forever alone. But, even in my hours spent playing solo, I could see how perfect it would be to play with another person. So, what's it like playing Killing Floor Calamity solo? So far, it's really hard. It's not impossible, but it is incredibly challenging. Zombies come from all directions. Think you're safe holding down that corner in that room? Joke's on you, Kimosabi. You're not. It requires you to constantly move around, which is good because the levels are pretty impressive and detailed. Playing by yourself can actually really heighten your awareness because that's the only way you're going to survive. Whether it's looking to see where the zombies are coming from next or where the extra ammo is, you've got to keep your eyes peeled. As of yet, I still haven't defeated the first boss. I know. I'm embarrassed too. But I'm learning. Each time I get closer and closer. What can I say? Enemies with regenerating health are my personal Achilles heel. But even with a failure after a failure, the game is still fun to me. The rounds move fast enough to the point where I don't get bored, plus I can choose from a variety of levels from the start. A lot of what I loved about the FPS version on PC is in Killing for Calamity as well. The witty and rather mouthy characters are all there, zombie and human alike. Most importantly, that radical metal soundtrack still kicks in as you mow down the undead. Killing Floor Calamity embodies the fun couch gaming model, and that's why it's a perfect fit for Ouya. It's best to enjoy it with a friend, but it's still fun to take on zombies all on your lonesome. Killing Floor Calamity is free to try on Ouya and available for full purchase for $15. All footage was captured with the Elgato HD game capture device.